Hello friends, welcome to exam B. So in this video, we will discuss computer awareness, complete syllabus, and we'll do a quick revision for RBI assistance 2019-2020 main examination, which is going to be held very soon. And we will try to discuss all the important uh, topics in this video. So let's start with a chronological history of uh, computers year wise it all started uh, in 19th century when in 1822 english mathematician charles babbage invented mechanical computer so many of you must have heard about uh, his name must have read about you in the notes he is considered as the father of of the computer okay so uh, what you can do is if you want you can make your notes quick notes you can make for the points which you don't know okay and you can revise those notes one day before the exam two days before the exam you can listen to this video so after 1822 in 1890 herman holyerth designs punch card system so who designed punch card system herman holyerth Okay, 1936, Alan Turing invented the Turing machine, capable of computing anything that is computable. So that was that was an idea of a modern computer. 1943-44, two students of uh, two University of Pennsylvania professors built ENIAC, electronic numerical integrator and calculator. So full form is important. Sometimes it is asked. It was huge, very huge size of a, a you know living room and was made up of vacuum tubes. So the first generation computers were made up of uh, vacuum tube tubes. In 1947, William Shockley invented the transistor. William Shockley invented the transistor. William Shockley is the inventor of transistor. Then 1953, Grace Hopper developed the first computer language known as COBOL okay computer business language grace hopper was a developer of cobol then fortran programming language which is an acronym or a short form for formula translation fortran was developed by a team of programmers at ibm led by john beckus so if you uh, get the name john beckus in the question or if you get the name who's the inventor of fortran john beckus is the answer or in company IBM is the answer Jack Kilby invented the IC integrated circuit 1958 Jack Kilby invented the IC so Jack Kilby is important here William Shockley is important here and the inventors of ENIAC are important here okay ENIAC full form then UNIX an operating system was developed in 1969 it was written in C programming language so the parent programming language of UNIX is C Unix is an operating system. It is an open source operating system. Unix is a portable across multiple platforms. Then 1973, Robert Metcalf, a member of research at Xerox, developed Ethernet. Robert Metcalf developed Ethernet. The 1976, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak started Apple computers. So Apple was started in 1976 by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. In 1981, the first pers IBM personal computer codename Acorn was introduced. It used Microsoft MS-DOS operating system. Then 1983, Apple's Lisa was introduced. So these are some of the inventions or developments in computers. Okay, 1985, Microsoft announced Windows. Then 1990s, important Tim Berners-Lee. He, you know, developed World Wide Web. Okay, so indirectly developed word by web, he developed hypertext markup language HTML. Sergey Brin and Larry Page developed Google. Then Moore's law is Moore's law is important. It may be asked is an observation that the number of transistors in a dense IC integrated circle doubles every two years. Doubles every two years. So two years is important here. Okay, so the observation is named after. Gordon Moore who developed this law. Charles Babbage is very best remember for originating the concept of programmable computer. Dennis Ritchie he created C programming language. Okay, Azure Cod 
invented the RDBMS relational model for data management database management relational database management system RDBMS James Gosling is known as the father of Java language then generations of computer first generation ENIAC ADVAC used vacuum tool so the question may be asked uh, which of the following is used by first generation uh, computers vacuum tubes then second generation used they were transistor based then third generation ic based fourth generation vlsi microprocessor based which is again ic and fifth generation ulsi ultra large scale integration processors based so the chip or ic the size of ic is uh, you know kept on decreasing <coughs> Now main components of a computer we know central processing unit CPU performs arithmetic logical and controlling and input output operations so it's considered as the brain of uh, the computer. Now there are some parts in the CPU which are the main part is control unit okay it instructs the computer's memory ALU and input output devices then arithmetic and logical unit ALU the um, that performs integer arithmetic and logical operations and registers are kind of memory okay computer memory used to quickly accept store and transfer data they're very fast and then performance of a cpu depends on two factors mainly clock rate and cores so if you go to amazon to buy a, comp a laptop okay so in under the specifications you will see clock rate and cores okay uh, like 8 core or dual core quad core so these kind of things clock rate measured in megahertz or gigahertz then cores contain more than more or one processing unit each unit is called a core okay cpu processor is made on an ic these days very very small in size it comes embedded on a motherboard so main thing is motherboard okay now input units and output units the one question uh, will be asked from this topic okay some options will be given and will be asked which of the following is an input device which of the following is an output device okay then memory primarily of three types this is very important memory the first one is cache memory cache memory is very high speed semiconductor memory which helps the CPU to work faster it acts as a buffer between cpu and the main memory okay so cache memory is the fastest memory in a computer so which is the fastest memory in a computer cache memory if such questions come but it is stores only temporarily it is stores data only temporarily it is not a permanent memory and it is very expensive the primary memory memory or main memory divided into ram and rom okay primary memory has a limited capacity it is slower than registers faster than secondary memory secondary memories are uh, you know pen drives and hard drives etc ram and rom are internal memory because they are inside the uh, computer or cpu specifically now uh, then secondary memory these this type of memory is also known as external memory or non volatile memory okay it is a permanent memory and it is slower than a main memory so if you store something in your pen drive it will be stored permanently until and unless you delete it okay cd-rom dvd pen drive hard drive etc random access memory it is a read write memory random access memory is a read write memory which is wrote data until the machine is working so ram you need to know uh, what kind of data it stores or how it stores data it is only a read write memory okay it is not a permanent memory as soon as the machine is switched off data is erased so ram is a volatile memory um, between ram and rom ram is volatile okay hence a backup is uh, needed uh, ups so uh, sometimes it is asked to you f when you are working on a computer or a laptop that you should save your data okay at regular intervals why because if power is gone and or if your battery is not uh, fully charged or battery is low then the data you are working on will be deleted if you don't save it and as soon as you save it it goes to rom rom okay and it becomes permanent 
then ram are of two types static ram and dynamic ram now there is a difference between static ram and dynamic ram which you need to know this is important static ram use flip flops to store each bit and static ram is a volatile memory dynamic ram it is to be uh, it is made up of capacitor and a transistor it is called dynamic because it has to be continuously refreshed static memory is not needed to be refreshed continuously static ram is faster which of the fall which of the static ram or and dynamic ram is faster static ram is faster you need to know that static ram is faster and more expensive then dynamic ram because dynamic ram needs to be refreshed continuously so static ram is easier to work with then read only memory which can only read but cannot write on it okay so you can read if some data is stored in it then obviously you can read it you can uh, use the data but you cannot update or you cannot uh, manipulate r1 okay so this type of memory is non volatile some information is stored permanently in rom during manufacture jo bios information basic input output systems information is there which is needed to uh, you know after the computer switch on which is needed uh, for you to go to operating system the most basic information is stored in rom okay so it is called system information then types of rom prom programmable read only memory eprom erasable and programmable read only memory eeprom electrically erasable and programmable read only memory full forms are important now memory storage units okay you must be knowing this then the motherboard serves as a single platform to connect all the parts of a computer together it connects the cpu memory hard drives optical drives video card sound card so all the devices are connected on a circuit which is called a motherboard it looks like uh, the one which is given in this photograph okay some of you uh, may have seen a motherboard if you open the the you know your, the, the box cpu box the big box which comes along with your computer we call it cpu box but it contains many things then you will get this motherboard now operating system is important operating system is system software that acts as an interface between computer user and computer hardware okay if a computer doesn't have any operating system you will not be able to work on it so operating system is an interface okay so as soon as you start the computer then you know this windows pops up window uh, now nowadays we have windows 10 windows 10 is an operating system only then you will be able to work on a computer following are some of the important functions memory management it manages memory processor management then device management device management all the connected input and output devices through device driver softwares okay file management keeps track of information where the file is located okay then security it prevents unauthorized access through passwords through uh, you know restricted access there is a whole security system then control over system performance job accounting okay it creates files for uh, jobs then error detection coordination between software and users okay and through operating system only we will be, we are able to access the internet examples of os important windows 10 mac os symbian android linux so symbian and android are uh, smartphones operating system linux is an open source operating system mac os and windows 10 are proprietary operating system because windows 10 is owned by microsoft mac os is owned by apple okay it comes only in apple computers or apple laptop right so single tasking and multitasking there is this some categorization some differences between operating system single tasking can only run one program at a time while multitasking uh, allows more than one program to be run at a time so most of the operating systems coming nowadays are multitasking then batch os operating system is a you know uh, which collects the programs and data together in a batch before processing starts so similar kind of instructions it takes in a batch and then operates 
time sharing operating system each task is given some time to execute so that all the tasks work smoothly a time share operating system you need to know the examples unix and windows so most of the uh, operating systems in our personal laptops and computers are time sharing operating system only then dbm is database management system it is a software which is used to manage the database so most of the information is uh, stored in a database if you work in a company if you work in an organization you will uh, go and work in rbi okay so there's a lots of data which we call nowadays as big data and more and more data is being generated every day it has to be stored somewhere okay so it is stored in a database right stored in servers but in a form of a database okay so a company's data all the vital data employees information product information any other data stored in database D dbms is used to retrieve insert delete the data efficiently okay this is a function of dbms for example mysql oracle databases these are some of the example these are very popular okay with dbms one can perform various operations like database creation storing data updating data creating a table then deleting a table deleting contents of a table okay rdbms stands for relational database management system most of the dbms are rdbms only uh, relational designed specifically for relational databases a relational database is a database model with that stores data in tables in the form of row and columns the vast majority of databases in modern applications are relational okay examples mysql microsoft sql server ibm db2 oracle database then sql is the language we can call we can say which uh, we need to work on databases okay so it stands for structured query language sql is used for storing and managing data in relational database management system okay so storing data creating tables we need uh, commands under sql it is a standard language for rdbms and very important so some of you if you get selected for rbi assistant some of you may get chance to work on sql on databases okay then types of command there are basically five uh, uh, five types of commands in sql first is data definition language ddl and commands are create drop alter truncate so create a database create a table drop a table okay drop a table means remove a table from the database then data manipulation language insert some data in a table update some data in a table delete a row or a column from the table then data query language very common most of the time you will be using this command select according to different rules so from a table containing many rows and many columns like uh, an employee table it contains the names of an employee phone number their address their email id their payment related information right and in the depart the department in which they are working so you just need name of an employee and their pay so you will do select okay data control grant and revoke so grant a privilege means uh, a privilege means a level of access suppose i am just a user so i may be able uh, to perform a select operation on the database but if i am an administrator then i may be granted data manipulation functions like insert data update data so these are the privilege then transaction control language okay and then system software and application software very important system software mostly operating systems and device drivers we can say so system software uh, software examples operating system compiler interpreter assembler device drivers just key this fix this in mind the uh, the examples of system software operating system compiler interpreter assemblers and device drivers all other softwares are application softwares okay most of and you know most of uh, the applications of ms office is an application software because it allows you to 
perform a specific task okay apps which we use in our smartphones okay these are all application software and then vlc player most of you know most of you use in our computer your computer vlc player okay google chrome is a browser it is also an application software <clears throat> okay but specifically a browser so there are many browsers like google chrome mozilla firefox and latest browser is microsoft edge okay so internet and intranet internet is a global network of interconnected computers we know what an internet is it uses standard transmission uh, con uh, control protocol or internet protocol every computer in the internet is specific identified by a unique ip address okay ip address is a unique set of numbers which identify the computer's location and other specification ip addresses are written and displayed in human readable notation such as uh, this example is given in ipv4 so two forms are available ipv4 and ipv6 so ipv6 is recently uh, it came into use some years back because the number of computers and number of network devices in general network devices they are increasing year by year so ipv4 ip addresses they were you know uh, not uh, sufficient in number okay obviously th these combinations are limited so then ipv6 ip addresses were introduced and the capacity has been increased a special computer dns domain name server is used to provide a name to the ip address okay suppose uh, you go for uh, google.com it this website has an ip address but ip address is very hard to remember you cannot uh, remember each and every ip address but you can remember www.google.com www.microsoft.com okay www.gmail.com so all of them has ip address why because all the data of google is stored in servers okay the ad i the address of those servers is that ip address but a do domain name has been given through dns internet is company specific it is an uh, you know interconnected network of computers only within an organization or it we can say it is a subset of internet okay computer security is protection of computer systems and networks from the theft hacking okay you all know what a computer security is also called cyber security and it security computer security is gaining more and more important because of increased dependence dependence of network computer systems wireless network standards such as bluetooth and wi-fi these days you know we are uh, accessing so many services through internet we do our banking through internet through apps paytm so a lot of money is involved a lot of financial information is involved so you know a very high amount of it security is needed and with this because we all of us are using internet for so many things possibility of hacking possibility of cyber attacks have been increasing so this field is getting a lot more attention these days okay a website can be hacked and uh, uh, if you you know read newspapers or if you go for online uh, news you will hear uh, every five days four days a website has been hacked a server has been hacked like this and vulnerability of computer backdoor backdoor in a computer system is any secret method of bypassing normal authentication or security controls okay so you should know what these terms mean this can be asked then dos denial of service attacks are designed to make a machine or network resource unavailable for its intended users okay for genuine uh, users so the hack attacker what it does is it will you know try to block that website by sending huge traffic from a single attack point okay dos can be controlled easily but distributed denial of service ddos it is very hard to control because it is not a single point attack it is a multi-point attack so from multiple ip addresses fake ip addresses or unintentional ip addresses traffic is getting onto the website but the intended users which are the genuine users 
they are not able to access the website then direct access attack and an unauthorized, unauthorized user gaining physical access then eavesdropping is the act of surreptitiously listening to a private computer conversation okay most of us we do eavesdropping then phishing is an attempt to acquire sensitive information such as usernames passwords and credit card details so all of you may have you know uh, experienced phishing in some form of the other all of you may not be the victims because you know we know that uh, we get fake calls fake messages how to respond to them the best way is not to respond to them but some people they get victimized okay they put up the call they tell their uh, sensitive information and the attacker or the person on the other side or the hacker gets the information and will uh, you know try to steal uh, money from the bank account or other information privilege escalation okay if uh, you know unintention uh, this intentionally a person tries to get the privilege okay of an administrator and then manipulate the data it 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 is mainly done inside an organization by an insider then social engineering it aims to convince the user disclose secret password etc by impersonating a bank contractor or a customer okay so show social engineering then tampering ip address spoofing max spoofing so just read these uh, terms before the exam so that if a question comes you will be able to answer these okay virus you know worms trojan or just read these okay antivirus example you read quick heal antivirus is an indian antivirus indian company then important network protocol tcp ip is transmission control protocol internet protocol is a set of layered protocols used for communication over the internet we all use tcp ip whenever we access a website whenever we you know chat with another person over the internet whenever we access our emails and ftp file transfer protocol so if we uh, you know send any file over the internet through any tool it comes into picture file transfer protocol then simple mail transfer protocol whenever we email somebody okay it goes through the guidelines of this protocol then voice over internet protocol it means telephone services over internet so whatsapp if you do a voice call or a video call voip is involved okay domain name server we just uh, discussed it so for an ip every ip address a domain name has been given like www.google.com gmail.com it is domain name system protocol then dhcp dynamic host control protocol it is uh, a network management protocol used on the internet whereby dhcp server dynamically assigns an ip address to each device on the network so that they can communicate with other ip devices then advanced technologies uh, we have artificial intelligence art intelligence demonstrated by machines then machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence okay then cloud computing on demand availability of computer system resources especially data storage which is called cloud storage so more, many of the companies are uh, going on cloud which means that they had they're shifting the databases to you know cloud based databases what is the advantage the advantage is that these companies they don't need to maintain huge servers okay because data is increasing uh, okay on an enormous scale so server space is needed and you know expenditure is involved huge expenditure in, is involved in buying servers maintaining servers but if you subscribe to a cloud you will not need to maintain any of the infrastructure just it is on the pay as you go model okay the more you use their services the more you pay the less you use their services the less you pay okay so cloud service models are saas software as a service pass platform as a service iaas infra as a service okay you, this you know need to know and world's largest pro provider of uh, cloud services is amazon aws amazon web services second number is microsoft azure third number goes to google 
cloud then internet of things describe network of physical objects that are embedded with so sensors software and other technologies connected over the internet blockchain is a decentralized digital uh, distributed ledger consisting of records called blocks that is used to record transactions okay it mainly has a use in financial technology fintech okay and it is the one of the upcoming technologies which will be you know in use commonly in use in years to come then computer security we have already uh, discussed then these are some of the abbreviations which you should read before you know appearing in exam they will come in very handy and you can expect some of these to be asked in your exam okay so all the very best for your exam thank you